Our next story is one that proves if you keep believing in yourself and have faith, anything can happen, folks. Yeah, former NFL quarterback Kurt Warner went from bagging groceries to winning a Super Bowl to the Pro Football Hall of Fame. And his uplifting story is chronicled in the new film, American Underdog. Go out there and you show the world what I've known all along. All right, joining us now to talk about Kurt's story is his former coach and Super Bowl champion himself, Dick Vermeil. Coach, uh, great to have you. You're one of the greats of all time, of course. And, well, thank uh, you. Uh, a, thank you. A pleasure to talk to you. Uh, what, what got you involved at this, and what can you tell us about Kurt and his story and what it meant to you? Well, you know, I've seen the American Underdog movie now and, and hosting it in three different parts of the country, California. Ohio and Pennsylvania here, and every time I see it, I like it better. You know, it's a great story. It's more than a football story. It's more about a guy making a football team. It's about a life struggle, a life desire, a great relationship, tragedy, overcoming problems, and being, believing in yourself, sticking with what you believe in with, with great passion. You know, it's, it's just, it, it'll touch you emotionally as much as will stimulate you from a football standpoint. You know, Dennis Quaid portrays you in the new film. What did it feel like to see your your part of Kurt's story on screen? Well, it makes you nervous, you know. But as I told him in a phone conversation, I said, Dennis, you played me better than I do, especially if you ask my wife's opinion. OK, so but really, uh, yeah, he did a very good job. And they actually used some actual statements that I made in the two years that I was with Kurt in St. Louis, statements that I had made to him that really almost word for word used them in the movie. I, I, I think people are really going to love the story. They really are. Um, you know, you were famous for going in and taking losing programs and turning them around and getting into the playoffs. And of course, you went all the way with the Rams uh, uh, to win the Super Bowl. You must have an ability to have people visualize success. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, I think the most important thing is you surround yourself with people that are very talented and many times more talented than you. And then you give them responsibility and designation of responsibilities and you back them and build a program around them and players and the entire organization from the ownership right on down. I was very fortunate in the NFL. I had three wonderful owners and two of them are gone right now, but God bless them. But uh, it was, you know, the surrounding yourself with good people, developing a work ethic, a relationships within the program, an environment in which people enjoy working in, and, and making people believe that hard work really isn't a form of punishment. Normally, it's a solution. And I was fortunate in doing that. But the big thing is surrounding myself with good people and talented players to coach. Yeah, it's a famous story that uh, he was bagging groceries and ended up uh, story? in the NFL. Uh, yeah. Now, it was with the Packers. By the time he got with you, what did you find in him that you thought, this is somebody that could lead us to the ultimate game? Well, you know, he came for a workout. Uh, we worked out because a friend had recommended him. And if we, if we did sign him, then we could assign him to go to Europe and play on the team that he was coaching in Europe, in the NFL Europe at that time. And then we brought him back, and he was our third quarterback our first year. They left that year out of the movie because it would have made the movie too long. And they put it going from the arena league right into his uh, second year with us when he now is the became the second uh, became the starting quarterback when Trent Green went down. So uh, <clears throat> there's a lot there's a lot of depth in the story, uh, a lot of, uh, uh, I think, emotion, a lot of tragedy, a lot of solution, uh, problem solving. Uh, and, and it just uh I think it'll just touch you emotionally as much as will as as much as it will uh, affect you and uh, stimulate your football interest. It really the family stories. Most people watching this movie by the end of it, they will identify with something in their life that took yeah. place that reminds There's them of that situation and how they work through yeah. it. There's something for everybody. Well, we really, really look forward to seeing that. Dick Vermeil, it's been an honor to have you on the program. American Underdogs hits theaters. You'll enjoy on it, Christmas believe me. Day. <laughs>
<laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Hi, Rob Carson here. If you love watching Newsmax, you're really going to love listening to our new podcast. It's called the Newsmax Daily. I host it, and I give you the best briefing of the big news of the day, top newsmaker interviews, and even, yes, a few laughs. I know it's hard to believe. So if you're uh, driving, walking, exercising, just about anywhere, you can connect with the Newsmax Daily with me, Rob Carson. Find our podcast online or go to iPhone, Spotify, iHeart, Stitcher, and more, and start listening today.